Hello friends, welcome to my channel Seas of Awareness. This is a series to spread awareness about vaccine. COVID-19 vaccine is out in the market and we are relieving slowly. Please do not believe any rumors that are spreading around. Due to this misunderstanding, people are frightened out and I listen many people saying they are not going to take any vaccine and they are not guinea pigs for the trial version of the vaccine. Let me tell you here that the vaccine are not genetically given without any precaution or testing. Many things are considered while preparing vaccine and they are thoroughly tested and monitored before giving to each and every individual. If at all you are frightened to take a vaccine, I can ensure this series will answer all your queries. In part 1 of the series, we learn many things about vaccine, plasma therapy and also how our immunity works as a soldier to prevent us from disease. If you had not watched that video yet, you can find out the link in the i button and also in the description box. Now let's go and gain the awareness in part 2 of the series which answer the query of how can we be sure that the vaccine is safe. This is answered by explaining about how vaccines are approved by our officials and the different stages that are passed to ensure the safety of vaccine. Hence, not to worry, you are safe and you can go ahead with it. Friends, 2020 was the deadliest year for the whole world because of COVID-19. Every person was affected mentally and also physically. Vaccines are finally up but many of us are not so confident to take it. To build up the confidence, let us now learn how vaccines are tested to ensure its safety. Friends, this is not the first time that our scientist is developing vaccines. Even today, we are regularly taking up many vaccines which are protecting us. The majorly known vaccine are the BCG vaccine and a polio vaccine. BCG vaccine is a vaccine which are given to children within a few days after birth and up to 6 months old. This vaccine prevents severe TB in infants. Polio vaccine is another such vaccine which are given to children in the series of 4 doses in their respective schedules. It prevents us from severe polio virus which affects our spinal muscles etc. Similar to this there are many other vaccines which were developed and are successfully being used by us. This vaccine usually it takes about 8 to 20 years to develop and approve to be used by public. Our scientists ensure thoroughly by testing and monitoring it in different circumstances. Each and every medicine or even cosmetics goes under this process. Similar conditions apply to vaccine also. Increase of various new diseases leads to increase in manufacture of new drugs and hence large number of clinical trials. What is clinical trial here? Clinical trial is basically defined as a systematic study of a pharmaceutical product on human subject in order to discover or verify the adverse effect with the object of determining the safety and or efficacy of a new drug. If I explain this definition in short, this definition means clinical trial is one type of research that studies treatment that is given to people to verify the safety of the pharma product. Clinical trials are carefully designed, reviewed and completed. The scientist or researcher are the person who has a wide knowledge about the clinical trial. They are who is in charge of clinical trial. They are the leader who design the clinical trial, make choice of their team and carry out the study. Hence, clinical trial are not offered to public as soon as it is prepared. It has to be studied thoroughly. Clinical trials study many things which include the new uses of drugs already approved by the FDA, the new ways to give drugs which could be in the form of drops, injections, pills or capsules. Not only this, the clinical trial also include the new tests to determine the disease and also the procedure or a technique that help to determine the symptoms of the infection or a disease. Any alternative medicine like vitamins or herbs that is effective against the disease also have to undergo clinical trial. There are many stages that are passed to allow the vaccine in the market. Let me explain you one by one. First comes the exploratory stage. In this stage, disease are thoroughly studied. The characteristic of an organism involved for the cause of this disease are studied accurately. Proper identification of antigen which is specific for this disease are done. After exploratory stage comes a preclinical stage. 
In this stage, the vaccine development usually takes about 5 to 10 years. In this stage, the test for vaccine is conducted on animals like mice, rabbits, guinea pigs and monkeys. This test helps to select the best antigen to develop the formulation of vaccine. Many times, not all antigen pass this test because they do not produce the desired immune response. Therefore, the best antigen which provides maximum immune response are selected. After preclinical stage, the next comes clinical development. This process takes about 3 to 8 years. This stage of vaccine development is done in three phases. The first phase, phase 1. In this phase, it is the trial vaccine on a small group of people, which would be often 20 to 80 people. In phase 2, they test the vaccine on a larger group of people, usually several hundred, which would be about 300 people, and further characterize its safety and confirm formulation and doses of the vaccine. After passing out from phase 2, the vaccine is forwarded to phase 3. In this phase, they evaluate the protection and safety in large groups, usually thousands of people. You would have noticed here that in each phase, more and more participants are increased. This is to ensure the safety. The selection of people is in large and diverse group. It is distinguished by the researchers. They test their safety and effectiveness for the whole population. Group of patients are distinguished considering their age, sex, health conditions like people with asthma or they are pregnant or any issue in kidney, liver, etc. All is considered. The vaccine which passes phase 3 trial means the researchers are very confident about the effectiveness and safety of vaccine. Then comes the regulatory approval. All that are collected through the earlier stages are submitted to the proper health authorities for approval. Friends, clinical trial needs sponsor since they can't be done without money or any other support. The sponsor here often are government agency, pharmaceutical companies and non-profit organization. Sponsor of clinical trial review the protocol of the research and gives proper funding or other support once the research plan is approved. That is, a US FDA is responsible for regulating vaccine. Every new vaccine has to follow a multi-step approval process. Friends, let us now take a look into some of the approval and application which is very essential. An investigational new drug application and a pre-licensure vaccine clinical trial. The sponsor here submits the IND application to the US FDA. This application outlines the proposed study, the manufacturing and the testing procedure and also the summary of a laboratory report. This is the first application submitted before starting the clinical trial. After the trial, the vaccine developer submits the application called a biologic license application to the FDA. FDA has been given the authority to regulate biologics which also include vaccine, blood byproducts, etc. Apart from FDA approval, clinical trials also need approval from an IRB, Institutional Review Board. An IRB is a group of people chosen by the healthcare center where patients will be enrolled into a clinical trial. The IRB reviews the research plan of the product or a vaccine to make sure the rights and welfare of patients are protected. After the trial has started, the IRB reviews its progress also at least every year. Data and Safety Monitoring Board, that is a DSMBS, review the progress of a clinical trial after it has started. Members of DSMBS are experts in clinical trials. They assess if patients are safe, the data is complete and if the test or treatment is working. Let us now take a general look of the checklists that are followed for approval of vaccine. These are the lists that is very important to follow to get an approval in the market, which includes some standard procedures, certificates, evidence, legit documents, insurance, etc., which has to be followed by the sponsor to get approved by the high officials. After regulatory approval, Approval comes a manufacturing. After all the approvals, verifications and different trials, FDA also visit the manufacturing site to ensure the safety of the product, that is a vaccine. They review the address and location of each site of manufacture, processing, test laboratories and animal facilities used for product 
all are checked in detail to prevent any contamination the packaging process labeling transport and storage etc also is considered in this inspection then comes a quality check all the quantities and qualities of the component which is present in vaccine which include the preservative stabilizer etc are defined and justified thoroughly after manufacturing of the product the quality check is done which ensure the stability of the product over the proposed time of the trial so that we can ensure its expiry specification for the final product is checked in details after all this procedure and documentation fda approves a vaccine sometimes after phase 3 trial and a clinical development procedure Many vaccines also undergo phase 4 studies after they are approved and licensed. This type of clinical trial studies the side effects caused over time by a new treatment after it has been approved and is on the market. Friends, people involved in the clinical trial is not always safe. There are pros and cons in this too. If I talk about pros, clinical trial gives access to the patient. A patient who is involved in this clinical trial study for most current healthcare facility this patient will be treated by experts all the results both good as well as bad are carefully tracked and if i talk about cons any test or treatment under clinical trial may cause side effects in this part i had explained about how vaccines are tested monitored and approved let me tell you here many of us had taken injection for different disease right we would have noticed that we get some fever headache pain etc after taking up any vaccine this is because of the changes that occur in our body this indicates that our immune system had started working along with the injected vaccine many parents are warned upfront of getting fever when small children are injected with vaccine so we have to be prepared enough that after injecting with vaccine we can get some small issues like headache fever pain etc in the next video we will go more in depth and answer all your queries related to vaccine if you like this video do like share and subscribe this channel let's meet up in the next video